This is year 12, um, recapping the uh, foreign policy of Henry VII. Uh, we're going to look at the dilemmas that Henry faced in terms of the Brittany crisis, the Italian wars, the Castilian uh, succession crisis, and finally Scotland. So we're going to start with the Brittany crisis. When Charles VIII came to the throne, his sister Anne of Beaujau set sights on recovering um, the largest remaining semi-independent um, duchy, uh, Brittany. The Duke of Brittany, however, Francis II, wanted to preserve Breton independence, but he had no male heirs to the throne only two daughters, Anne and Isabel. So Anne of Beaujau um, sought to marry Charles to Anne of Brittany, um, which would give France control over Brittany. The proposal set alarm bells across Europe because the absorption of Brittany to the, into France would significantly enhance the strategic capabilities and the power of France. The reason for this was because they would have the potential to invade England as they would have control of the entire southern shore of the channel. I think that Henry should have responded by diplomatic negotiation because if they helped France they would gain Brittany and dominate Europe. However if they went against France this may result in an invasion further on. France may invade England along with the support from Scotland. Henry was already aware of this early on in his reign. Uh, so what did Henry do? He allowed limited unofficial aid to Brittany and then issued a apology to the French to ensure he remained on good terms with them. Uh, this was partially successful because he didn't want to um, straight off like anger the French early in his reign um, so he wanted to keep them on like not great terms but fairly good terms but then again he didn't want uh, France to get control of Brittany because of the threat they would pose to them and he wanted to ensure good relations with his allies by not favouring the side of the French and wanted to remain with Spain and the Holy Roman Empire with French control already almost complete, Henry had one last opportunity to preserve Breton independence. He would need allies, but questioned Maximilian Ferdinand and Isabella's reliability. Henry knew, however, that sending an army could help reclaim English lands from the Hundred Years' War. Henry would risk losing face in England if he was defeated, and he also needed to raise money for the venture. His other option was to accept French control of Brittany. Henry decided to come to a diplomatic agreement with Brittany, Spain and Burgundy to gain support and create an anti-French alliance with the Treaty of Redon, the Treaty of Dordrecht and the Treaty of Medina del Campo. However, all of these treaties were not very successful. The Treaty of Redon, used to keep Brittany from keeping alliances, failed after Henry only sending 3,000 of the 6,000 troops agreed to Brittany. The Treaty of Dordrecht failed after Maximilian did not honour his side of the bargain and made peace with Charles, Charles VIII of France. Finally, the Treaty of Medina del Campo failed, as Ferdinand and Isabella were too busy assaulting the Moors in Granada to lend support. All in all, in all Henry's methods of gaining support were unsuccessful, as no, no nation he allied with ended up giving him support, and in December 1491, the French gained control of Brittany after Anne of Brittany was forced to marry Charles VIII of France. Henry was facing a major crisis in Brittany. French control of Brittany had increased with the marriage of Charles VIII to, of France to Anne of Brittany, but if Henry conceded Brittany, he would lose credibility among his subjects and France would increase its power. Henry had invested a great deal of time and money into the war, so he prepared and sent an invasion fleet to Brittany, but there was not much fighting as he didn't want to expose himself to usurp usurpation from pretenders like Perkin Warbeck by using excessive military force. Compensation was given to Henry in return for French control of Brittany. This was a safe option for Henry as it provided the cost for the crisis, also it achieved reconciliation with France. Although Brittany had been lost to France, Henry had succeeded in ke keeping the French on side, closing them to any Yorkist pretenders. This along with compensation Henry had received led to overall success over Brittany. Okay, I'm just going to add a couple of things uh, to that. The main uh, detail that we're missing there is it was the Treaty of Etape. Um, 
Etaples, as it looks, okay, E-T-A-P-L-E-S, the Treaty of Etap, uh, November 1492, uh, and the compensation that we're, that we're discussing there is £159,000 uh, pension in return for England removing all its troops from French soil except Calais. Okay, so that was the kind of um, sacrifice that Henry made, uh, allowing Brittany to, uh, to fall to the French, but saving face at home. In other words, uh, still sending an invasion force nominally over uh, to, to kind of look belligerent and keep up appearances and keep um, people happy back in England. Okay, thanks, fellas. Why is that? This is the uh, Italian Wars. Moving on from the Brittany crisis to the Italian Wars, 1494 to 1509. Uh, the Italian crisis started when France invaded the regions of Italy in 1494. Italy was a majorly wealthy area as it was compromised with different states, the wealthiest being Milan, Venice, Florence, Naples and the Papal states. The Italian crisis created conflict as France and the Habsburg Empire had dynastic claims in Italy that they wished to pursue. Italy would be a major benefit for, uh, to a European country as it would provide wa vast wealth and dominance over the trade routes within Europe. Henry was also being pressured into joining the alliance with Spain and the Holy Roman Empire against France, but any act against France could be devastating to England due to their vast wealth and military strength. Henry ended up being pressured into joining the League, but stated clearly that he wouldn't declare war on France. On the opposite side of uh, things, Henry signed a, tr uh, signed a trade treaty with France, improving wealth and security in England due to the improved relations with France. Henry was very successful in this um, in the Italian wars as he maintained positive relations with the European powers while also improving wealth and security with France. Okay, uh, just one um, point of clarification there, and it's a pronunciation issue. Papal states, not pa papal. Yeah, not papal. Papal states, but other than that. Not Italian. Okay, so we'll put the rest of this into uh, another session. So just to recap, we have covered the Brittany crisis and how successfully Henry dealt with it, uh, and the Italian wars, uh, how successfully Henry dealt with those. Next um, uh, on the agenda will be Castilian, Succession Crisis, and Scotland.